Hey everyone, Bayzat here, and today I'm gonna to tell you everything you need to know about the brand new Vulgar, whoop, Vulgar Selvage 2. So the history of the Vulgar Selvage actually goes back to basically the start of Naked and Famous Denim. When we first started, we had a gene called the Logo Selvage, and now this gene, it never came out. It was, uh, it actually came out as the Deep Indigo Rigid Selvage, except the original version had the words Naked and Famous Denim along the Selvage Edge along the salvage ID. So when we were developing the Fall Winter 17 collection, I was going through our archive and I, I, you know, I picked up this gene and I thought, you know, this could be really cool. You know, we should do something with this. And, you know, being a fan of comedy and a fan of George Carlin, I, I thought, you know, he, he had a bit called the, the seven words you can't say on television. And I thought, you know, maybe we could do something with that. And uh, while we didn't use seven words or the seven words that uh, you can't say on television, we did use the words shit, bitch, ass, and fuck. And that was all along the salvage ID. And I remember going back to uh, trade shows, you know, when, when we had trade shows, you know, we were in Paris and New York and Berlin and uh, uh, Vegas and, you know, all the other cities in between. And I, we would show these jeans to, to buyers and, you know, the, their eyes would light up and I, I, I was like, okay, I think we're onto something. And then I teased the images on Instagram and everyone's comments went crazy. And I'm like, okay, pretty sure we've got something here. And then when it finally released, you know, these jeans, they sold out. You know, it was, it was a very fast-selling gene. A lot of people were looking for these. And, and over the years, since, since the time they released until now, it's just been one of those genes that constantly pops up online with really, really incredible fading uh, results. In fact, some of the best fading results I've ever seen of a Naked Famous gene is from a, a pair of Vulgars. And, you know, people would see those photos or they'd discover our brand, you know, kind of later on. And they, they discover this gene and I get messages all the time saying, when are you going to re-release these? When are these going to come out again? Where can I find a pair? So for Fall Winter 20, we finally decided to bring these out again. And when we do a re-release, we always try to make them a little bit different. So uh, we, we've changed up a, a few things uh, from the original Vulgar to the Vulgar 2 Selvage. The, the base indigo denim is the same. So it's a 12 and a half ounce short slub denim. So it's not completely flat. You can see there's kind of got this streaky kind of character throughout the fabric. The leather patch is leather this time instead of pig. Um, the first one we used a, a pig skin. Now we're using a uh, an actual uh, cow leather. Uh, we we actually had a couple of people who, uh, for religious purposes, they 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 couldn't wear uh, pig leather. So uh, we went with the, uh, the 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 cow leather this time uh, just to kind of appease uh, and have a, a broader appeal that way. Uh, the denim itself, as you can see, very clean. And then you've got that exposed selvage ID. You've got the hell yeah and uh, fuck no uh, on the ins of, you know, it, this will vary from, from pair to pair. Um, but on the uh, selvage ID, this is actually the sample. So this is not the same as uh, the final production. Uh, and this is kind of the way we work, you know, things go through different iterations. Uh, but you can see here the uh, the sample said, uh, hell yeah, fuck yeah, and then hell no, fuck no. So we decided with hell yeah, fuck no. Um, so it makes it nice and easy when you roll the cuff, you get everything kind of in one shot. Hmm? Oh, uh, yeah, the uh, final production says, uh, fuck yeah, hell no, my, my mistake. What makes the Vulgar Selvage 2 special is, you know, believe it or not, it's, it's simplicity. So, you know, we are known for making a lot of wild jeans. And sometimes, as much as you can appreciate that, it's not for everybody. Some people prefer to have a nice, clean, crisp, dark pair of classic jeans, but they still want to express themselves a little bit. So I think by having the Selvage ID be where all the detail is at, well, not all the detail, I mean, it, it is still a very beautiful denim after all but having that extra that extra right here in the selvage id you know you could roll the cuff and have a really really big cuff and and you know be loud with it or you can have a small cuff and just kind of have it a little bit and you know somebody might see that out of the corner of their eye and uh you know you might get a little smile or reaction out of them so that's what i think is really special about this jeans is that without being too extra they still allow you to express yourself and, uh, you know, have a little fun at the same time. The Vulgar Selvage 2 is available in masculine and feminine fits. So we've got the super guy, weird guy, easy guy, 
and we've got the classic and the max and the unisex denim jacket. The denim jackets go from double extra small all the way up to double extra large. So uh, you could have full on uh, vulgar selvage uh, denim tuxedo. Well, uh, I think that's everything you need to know about the Vulgar Selvage 2. I hope you appreciate this new kind of video. I think story time might be a little bit more fun. It's a little bit more natural for me uh, to speak this way. And if you have any thoughts or comments about the Vulgar Selvage 2, leave them in the comment section below. If you want to get a pair, I have a link to the blog post where you have a, a full list of retailer availability. You definitely want to get these because they won't last very long. Um, you know, just like the Vulgar Selvage one, these are, I'm, I'm pretty confident these are going to be gone uh, in not, uh, not a lot of time. So uh, it sounds like I'm rambling and I'm going to wrap the video up there. So I'll see you guys in the next one and uh, have, a, have a nice day.